Hello, and welcome to Building 2, the Chemistry Lab. This was one of the original structures built in 1887 by Thomas Edison. This laboratory was one of the best equipped labs in the world at that time. It was here that Edison and his teams of muckers went through thousands of experiments to find the answers they sought. Some of the experiments that happened in here that you can still see parts of today include Edison's search for domestic rubber, his quest to improve storage batteries, and his continued efforts to improve wax recordings. The domestic rubber project was started because his friends Henry Ford and Harvey Firestone wanted a backup source of domestic rubber. The lab contained stills for extracting the latex from plants, samples of goldenrod, which is the plant Edison eventually decided worked best to make the domestic rubber, and some of the finished rubber he made with it. You can also find nickel iron storage batteries and many jars of different forms of nickel that Edison experimented with. His hope was to develop an improved rechargeable battery that would be the future of the automobile industry. The chemistry lab really demonstrates what made Edison so successful. This was not a one-man show. Edison had many skilled workers and chemists to help him. Inside, there would have been teams of muckers working on solving problems. Edison also had a great amount of persistence. He never gave up. Some projects took years to get right, and that meant thousands of attempts failed before he finally found the right answer.